We are a little more than three weeks away now from the biggest weekend in Spokane. Hoop Fest crews are getting ready to welcome more than a quarter of a million fans and players in downtown Spokane. And tonight, our Melissa Luck shows us the final touches on one important piece of that Hoop Fest puzzle. Here at Maine and Freya, this is where they're putting on the full court press. Hoopfest crews will spend the next several days prepping 460 backboards in time for the biggest three-on-three -three tournament in the world. And the full court press is on here at Hoop Storage in East Spokane. This is where all of the Hoopfest infrastructure is stored year-round and where right now crews are making sure the backboards are ready to be moved downtown. Gridmark and the Hoopfest staff are putting sponsor logos on backboards to make sure you know where your team is playing on Hoopfest weekend. And that has been an evolving process over years. In the beginning, they were hand painted, then you know technology has changed so much in materials and things like that. So now it's basically just a mini billboard with a you know on a giant sticker, and so they can move through quite a bit at a time now. We know for sure one backboard is looking especially good this year. This is Hoopfest's 24th year, so everything they do is like clockwork. Hoops are already grouped in numbers, so they'll be dropped off in specific parts of downtown. So much behind the scenes prep work to get ready for the massive event. Hoopfest crews assure us these courts will be ready in time for the biggest weekend in Spokane, but they can't assure that the glass will be kind. So all you have to do between now and Hoopfest is practice. In East Spokane, I'm Melissa Lutt, KXOY4 HD News.